Hey folks, happy Saturday to you. It is Saturday, April 24th, and we continue our FUMCC devotional following our prayer calendar, uh, which is leading us through all kinds of different mission um, initiatives and projects. And today's a really neat one. Um, and uh, that's sponsored by the, is a mission outreach of United Methodist Women. And it is the uh, Ruth M. Smith Center in Sheffield, Pennsylvania. And if you read about this, um, what you'll discover is a uh, hundred years ago about a uh, family gave their house in honor of their daughter, Ruth. Um, and I don't know what the story, I don't know if she had died or what her story was, but originally this house was used um, as an orphanage. Um, and then later it was used as a uh, sort of halfway house, so uh, teens that got into trouble would be sent there rather than to juvenile hall. Um, and then the needs of the community changed again, and so uh, for the last uh, couple decades, it's been a house that has served um, adults with uh, physical or um, uh, other developmental uh, disabilities, uh, learning uh, disabilities, and they can't live on their own, and so they live in community there, and just a wonderful uh, kind of ministry that has uh, changed through the years. It's really the generosity of one family. Um, then this ministry has changed through the years, and it continues to be supported by a number of different uh, uh, organizations around there. And so we're just, we give thanks for that kind of work. Um, and the scripture, I want you to open your, in your Bibles to the Gospel of John, um, John chapter 11. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John is the order of the New Testament, uh, how it begins. So over in the Gospel of John, it's the uh, latest of the Gospels, uh, we believe, uh, written somewhere around 105, 110, something like that. Very different than the other Gospels. Uh, Matthew and Luke had pieces of Mark that they were um, using as reference, um, and uh, Matthew and Luke had material that was in common together that wasn't in the Gospel of Mark, and John is sort of totally on um, its own um, and has a much more developed sort of philosophical view of who Jesus is and, and the understanding of God. And so, all right, John chapter 12, I mean, chapter 11, verse 38. Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. My Jesus, uh, Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench because he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believed you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, unbind him and let him go. Now, this is a story of Jesus bringing back a man from the dead. You know, we, we think about the miracle stories and, and the healings of Jesus, and Jesus heals a person who has leprosy or, or uh, heals a bleeding woman or heals someone who has a you know, crippled hand or foot. And we think, uh, all right, all right, I can, I can see that. But bringing someone back from the dead, uh, that's a whole, a whole other uh, you know, dimension. And we don't see that dimension of Jesus ministry here amongst us much, um, anymore, if any. Um, and we have to think of what, what does that mean to us then? Does that mean that that part of the ministry is gone, that it is no longer, or is it somehow spiritually translated to mean something that Jesus is trying to call all of us back into a new kind of life. That Jesus is always trying to breathe new life into whatever he finds. That 
that uh, our ministry is to bring new life to orphans or troubled teens or adults with certain disabilities, just like this house does in Pennsylvania, that, that part of our ministry is God bringing us back to life, fullness in every way, and part of our ministry is us partnering with God to help that happen in our community. So I wonder this week where you have witnessed new life in you or around you, if you might be able to answer that question. I hope this is helpful to you. God bless. Have a great day.